Hey y'all. Hey, I went through uh, Achilles Last Stand the other day, which was a little bit more advanced. This is another one of those, so if you're a beginner, maybe wait to tackle this. I, I, every time I say that, I always get somebody who says, I've only been playing for six months and I can do eruption. Good for you. <laughs> Great. I'm sure that's true. Too. But uh, for uh, mere mortals, uh, this might be something to work up to. But anyway, uh, let's go through it. Now, first off is the, the tuning, which for, I'm, I'm tuned to the studio recording, which is D, G, C, G, C, D. Right? Now, that's the studio one. The, the live ones, like the ones in Song Made the Same and the ones they did all the way through Nebworth and uh, the 80 tour. Uh, those are uh, E A D A D E. So th those are tuned up. Now I suspect when when they recorded it for House of the Holy, they recorded it as E A D A D E, and then slowed the tape down. To, to you can definitely hear like in the the electric guitar parts on the studio version that it's slowed. Um, so I don't know if they changed the pitch because of the tape speed or what, but the only live one that I could find that is in the same key <laughs> as the studio one is the one from Unleaded, ironically. So, uh, uh, so uh, for this, D, G, C, G, C, D, or thereabouts. Um, so let, let's break it into pieces, and, and if you're trying to learn this for the first time, uh, master each little section and then move on to the next one and then build the thing up you know till you can till you can get through the whole thing so it starts with the, the intro which, which is uh, comes back a bunch of times throughout the song Let's go through that. That's the first little part we're going to work on, <laughs> then we'll string stuff together. Actually, this is most of the song. This is most of it. So if you can get this, you're in good shape. Um, I'm not going to call these chords by name or anything because none of that makes sense with this tuning and I don't even know what that would be. So I'm just going to describe what I'm doing. Uh, that's uh, D at 7, B at 7, and it's an up. Now, one thing to note is I'm doing sort of the acoustic part from the album, which is he would do the live electric, you know, because all he had was electric. <laughs> he would do the live ones a little bit differently. But I'm going to do it like the studio uh, acoustic track. So, uh, up, pick. The second one is you just put, put the B string down, one fret to six. Start with as if you were doing an F. It looks like an F moved up to G. The eyes string open. So D5, G4, B3, and then go B5. Keep your keep it on three, but cover it five because you want to go. So five on the B string to three. Then two. And that looks like an A moved up to the third fret. D, G, B, all at three. So, so far. So that's uh, D, G, and B at 2, and then G goes up to 4. Right? The 
this is, uh, except for that very last one, these are all just D and B strings. Everything else is open. So 11, 9, 12, 11, 4, and back up here to 9. But on that one at 9, you add the G string one fret back. 11, 9, 12, 11, and you kind of slide it. So it's just the two strings for those. And it should sound like this. G9, B9, or sorry, D9, B9, G8. And then again. D12, G11, B10, and then just slide it down. I think on the live electric ones, he would just go with the electric guitar. But I think on the acoustic, it's. So that one goes from, the D goes to now 10. I'm loving. D is 10, G is 10, B is 9. This part. D. E5. Five, four, zero. Now when he does the live one, he'd go. Right? But I think on the on the acoustic part, he just goes. through them and on the B it's 9 12 or sorry yeah 9 12 9 and then the same chord shape as the other one and the same Same thing you did at the very beginning. All three D, D, G, B at two, and G goes up to four. So this this little climbing thing, this the the G string is just going to keep going. Wait. And the 
G's are gonna go. Right, so it's all three and two. And then so G stays two to four and D and B go up to the third fret. Same thing here. They go D and B are up to four. G still goes two four. And I've seen him do it, I watched his fingering on the unleaded one. And this one, he doesn't do... He doesn't do the B string, I don't think. I think he just does the two. Um, so it's... Third fret. Fourth fret. I do it like that. Just the D and the G string. D stays at 5, G goes 4 2, or 2 4. So now you're at D and B are at 5, G's at 4. After you've got I do that with D open G and B at four high E at five five four on the high E Next one is D G B at two, and then the high E goes five, you know, uh, four two. Just the A string at two. high E string at two. And then the live one. <laughs> and now, uh, uh, where does it go from there? It goes back into, oh, that long instrumental break. So the first time through, or the first couple of times through, it does... Right? But on this one part, and it's the only time it does it, he does this. Back up to it again. 
So after that one, it's the same shape as this. That's D, G, B at 5, high E is doing 7, 5. And then back down. Now it starts all over and then it goes back into an... So then you get to Bonzo comes in. the summer of my smile. So then we go through. Get back to this. You're building up to the rock part. Part that, that when it rocks out, right? Right, so that is that same thing you did. That part. As if you're climbing up on a G. Sort of like climbing up to a G5. Zero, two. A string of the third fret. Never thought it would ever go. So let's do all that again. second for and that one is like and you can actually hear especially on the when the live ones he does so he does that like an A chord and then goes back to the G at the fourth fret So after you do, uh, right before, what does it go to? It goes. Oh, this. So slide. It's that same. 
shape you've been doing. <laughs> D, G, and B slid up to seven, and high E is at nine. Five, high E at seven, and then off. Then back on. G string. And then high E five seven. That's the same one we've been doing with the D string open. G and B four. High E five four. Same what we did before, D, G, B, 2, high E, 4, so, right, on and off, 4, 2, D, G, B4, high E5. D, G, B5, high E7. Does the same thing except higher up. So that's D, G, B7, 8 on the high, high E. D, G, B, 8, high E, 10, and then high E is 10, 8, 10, 12. That looks like an A up here, D, 7, G, 6. B5, and you you gotta kind of give some thought to how you arpeggiate all the way through. E B G B, right there at the end of it. And then this little thing. At least that's what it sounds like to me. looks like a D. G5, B6, high E5, but on you go 7, 5 on that high. It's 7, 5 on that high E. The next one is all this is E string two zero. This one, so it's this. It looks like a it looks like a B minor right here. G five. Four, three, four, five. The high E string is doing five, three. That's only on those three strings. You don't play the D string on that. Well, you do on the first one. But not to arpeggiate it. when you walk down to the very end.
So it's uh, A and B both at 5, and then you skip over the D string. Then the same thing at 4. Skip over the D string. I think he does that. Does one of those on the high E string. And then you end on what looks like an A chord. D, G, B at the second fret. And then on the live versions, he would do that. He'd bring that up an octave. So it's D, G, B at 14 and he'd be doing In fact, he'd have it up. <laughs> um, so that's, uh, that's the rain song. Um, like I said, a little bit more uh, challenging than uh, Love Me Do. <laughs> But, uh, but totally doable if you break it into pieces. I mean, you got the intro. Right. And then this little part. And then the climb. That's, that's all the, the parts to it. No guitar solo per se, although you could argue the whole thing is a, is a guitar solo <laughs> from start to finish. But, but uh, a nice one to strum uh, on the couch. And if you could sing, more power to you. Good luck. <laughs>